Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to solve another late code challenge. Uh, daily coding challenge question is word break. So given a string S and a dictionary of strings word dict, written true if S can be segmented into space separated sequence of one or more dictionary words. Note that the same word in the dictionary may be reused multiple times in the segmentation. Uh, so let's take a look at the example. Uh, so S is lead code and the word dig is lead and code. So it comes as true because lit here in S string is also present in word dig and code is also present in word dig and therefore we have segmented string S into word dig. Therefore it's true. Same goes here, apple, pen, apple. So again true. Now for the third example, we have cats and dog. But D here is repeating. Uh, for instance, we go for cats, then we can go for N, or we can skip A N and go for dog. But we don't we cannot have sand if we are going for cats. Um, so therefore it's false. So first and foremost, like we need to find that if the string S is segmented properly and we can only find it at the last letter of this word, so, right? I'm thinking the dynamic programming can help here because we are only able to know at the last letter. Let me just initialize our DP that is dynamo programming variable and the length would be this is our length. We want length of S. This is our dynamic variable. Uh, and the first would be false because we sorry true because letter needs to be true um all the word all the strings of the word date is and the word date length is one so if there is one letter of s then it is obviously in a word date. therefore i have initialized it in as in true so now for the loop we can have an outer loop that will be again the same and the inner loop would be only going to the range of i therefore like this is a variable or flexible sliding window problem using dynamic programming so if dpj that means in this case we are at l um, i'm taking example of example one um so now if so this is true but we also want to find out if if i is uh, sorry l is present in the word date and if it is then we will just do it like true if not then we will have it like false obviously for the first letter it's true but not for the second letter if it's not there right so now we will just look for the last letter so let me go through this example we will go for outer loop l and the inner loop will be also l so l is not in the word date but as it is first letter and it's the first letter and based on this logic and constraint what length is equal to or less than equal to one so we would assume that letter would be there okay uh, now for the second loop we went to e and now for the inner loop we'll be going for le and then e le and e is not in the word deck we will skip it and similarly L, we will go for second e so first loop would be le e e e and e again not present now we are at the point of t where we'll be looking at l e e t so here s j colon i is l e e t where we will find that that exists in word dig. So we will go inside this loop and at this moment we will have it true. Same, we will go for C and then we will compare all the previous till C, then we will discard L, then E and E and T and C. We haven't found it yet. So at the end of the loop, we will be at E, right? 
and we will go for a lead code completely but it won't be it isn't present but what is present is code and therefore we will have the last letter as true and which makes the output true because we are only caring for the last letter i hope this helps you visualize this um it's a little complicated but again if you have practiced dynamic programming and the sliding window problems this would be an easy question for you so let's run it and here you go let's run it and right we have a bit 73 percent so that's good enough so hope you guys like this please subscribe to the channel and i will meet you in the next video